Now move it forward in your stance. A little more. Oh my goodness. I think I have my ball position too far back. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a lesson with my dad. I don't know if you guys have seen the first video I've done with him, but he gave me a lesson a while back on the channel and we worked on a lot of stuff, but a little recap. My dad has been a pro and in the golf industry for like 60 years. Um, he's been teaching, he's probably given over 25,000 lessons. I've probably never seen a guy give more lessons than my dad. I mean, I can't think of any. He used to work all day long, give seven lessons a day. It was unreal. We're gonna head over to the range um, and he's gonna take a look at my swing. But really quick, I just, had a amazing round of golf yesterday. I played unreal, hit the ball great, but I know like I've been struggling with my hybrid. So hopefully when we get up to the hybrid today, I can learn how to hit it a little higher because I don't know why, I seem to just keep hitting like low hooks with it and I need to get that height on it and get it launching. So maybe he'll take a look at my ball position or something, but no one knows my swing better than my dad. So, I mean, he knows it like the back of his hand. He's watched my swing change over 10 years of playing golf, he's watched it every single day. I mean, he's been there since the beginning. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this. And if you guys wanna see my dad more on the channel, let me know. Um, he really helps me out a ton. So let's get right into this. All right guys, before we go on with the rest of today's video, I wanna give a huge thank you to Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. So we have a ton of flavors here to look at. We have oatmeal cookie, cocoa, we have peanut butter, blueberry muffin, honey nut, all these wonderful flavors. I've tried them all and I absolutely love them, but my favorite one is the fruity flavor. And it really makes me think of my childhood. That's why I like it. It's absolutely amazing. Guys, this is so good and I cannot believe how good it is for having no bad ingredients. Recently, guys, I've been looking for a midnight snack that has a lot of protein and also not a ton of sugar. And if you guys look right here on the back, zero grams of sugar and 13 grams of protein. I mean, that's absurd. You guys, if you guys are going to the gym or doing anything, you can replenish yourself with protein just by eating Magic Spoon. I gotta say guys, this has to be one of my favorite brand deals I've done because it is literally one of the best tasting cereals I've had. And I'm not kidding, I want you guys to try it. So, if you guys want to check it out, you can go click the link below and use code Grant Horvat for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com slash Grant Horvat. And if you guys aren't sure what flavor to try, Magic Spoon has a variety pack which includes four flavors, fruity, frosted, cocoa, and peanut butter so that you can try a little bit of everything. Also guys, if you are not 100% satisfied, Magic Spoon will refund your money, no questions asked. Now let's get on with the rest of today's video. Today we are out here in Florida at the Florida Club. I still want you to take a look at it and let me know if you see anything that we could work on. You know, I'm always trying to hit my wedges a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. So if there's anything there, that, I mean, that's we're gonna start out with wedges and then we'll work our way up. But if there's any little things in the swing you see with alignment, let's just do a little checkup today. Okay. Because my dad's the one guy that he always looks at my swing and he knows my tendencies. So let's go, let's go to the red flag there. You always get those alignment sticks out. He loves those alignment sticks. We're talking about alignment now. We've I've talked about it the first time that we did this on on his channel, but it's very important that you understand whether you're right or left-handed, this stick right here to the inside is the aligned at the target. This stick, which is off to the side, is aimed parallel left to that, which is where your body, your hips, feet, and shoulders all aim. So, yeah, in, so this one is the one you're Correlation. Talking. Right, yes. so this one, this one is where your body, this is the target. Right. So this is your body, guys, right here and then this would be the target. So now we got now we got our alignment perfect. We don't have to think about that at all. And I always read where the left-handers say you forget about us. It's the same, only that stick would be on this side of the ball if you were left-handed. All right, let's try and hit some low ones, okay? We need to flight some wedges. First couple swings of the day here. I always seem to hang them out to the right, don't I? Yes. And that, that, that's, that's my thing. miss. That's my miss with it, the wedges. It is. And I think it's because you're trying so hard to get shallow yeah. on it and you tend to flatten out too much and then you can't square because the club gets a little bit behind you and inside. 
I agree. To, so to I need to almost top. feel like I'm right, like there. The club can come behind me, but I gotta still exit more left, right? That's right. You gotta, gotta get, get low left. That was better. When we say low left, that that is important because when you were tr leaving them out to the right, you every time you try to hit a punch shot on any of your films, you'd always say, well, I don't quite, I always hang it to the right if I punch it. Right. And you do that because you stop your rotation and you can't get on top of it because you're lateral too far instead of keeping on top of it and turning left. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I see that on camera, guys. A lot of the times I'll like go underneath it like this, so I'll sag. And then that's when the club face gets open and I hit those hooks or I hit a big old block. So what my dad is saying, I basically got to open up my body more this way. Rotational, right? Right. So instead right. of like lateral, we're feeling this a little bit today. You know, the other thing that is real nice tip for everybody is if you want the ball flight to be high, then finish high with your hand. Right, if you want it if low. If you want it low, finish low with your hand. Right. There it was. That was it. Zach Johnson is probably the premier wedge player. Yeah. That I've ever seen. And he definitely had that blade square to hooded. Right. Almost. Yeah. He didn't have it open and your everybody's tendency when they get a wedge, you've got to open the blade up and give it block. Yeah. By the way, one of the fun facts is that Zach Johnson did something that no one will ever do again in the game of golf and that is he went and played the Masters yeah. Yeah. and never went for a green in two and won the Masters. Yeah, he laid up. He laid up on every par five. He laid up on every par five at the Masters and won it. A couple more wedges here and then we'll start moving up. We're just trying to hit it nice and low today. There we go. That, that was it. That's the sound you want to hear. Yeah. And you notice another thing that time on that one, you were totally left. I turned left, yeah, my follow through. Totally. Yeah, my follow through, I felt like I got around more here. Right. And I'm almost feeling like I'm like covering it with my right shoulder. That's I'm just more right here. Feel like your whole right side is hitting it instead of flipping it with your hand. Yeah, and that's what I do. I get flippy. That's the main thing. Here we go, guys. On to a nine iron. That was good. Real good. That, and that, the other thing is, I, I like, like it a lot when you finish with your hips underneath your shoulders as you go to the left and you don't get any arching yeah. and falling back of, I agree. of your swing. And just by staying on top of the ball, like wow. that, that's what I call it, being on top of the ball. Yeah. By, by doing that, you automatically turn left and you automatically get way left and your shoulder passes where the point of, hit, of contact is. Yeah. It goes past it. I feel like I'm actually clearing now. It's just crazy to come back to this range too, and I feel like I've gotten so much better at golf. Like I can just get up here on the range and just keep hitting good shots. And I used to chunk one and thin one when I was young. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I would just, I was all over the place. Great, right there. And that was it. Another thing that you notice when you do it well is you finish against the hole outside of your left Yeah, the bottom foot there. Instead of spinning. Right. I'm really, I'm feeling that. It just feels absolutely amazing right now. It is like 100 degrees out here, but I'm hitting them good. I'm hitting it solid. The good part about when you hit it that way and stay on top of it, as the club passes through, the loft on the club stays the same, and then thus it's more predictable right. as far as distance. Right. I feel like I'm actually compressing it, you know? Right. Ah, not a good one there. Come on. A little bit under that one. What's my ball position look like here? Is it too far forward or back? Or? Actually, it depends on, on your, your flighting, but I'd, I'd like to see it a little more forward. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was it. See, easier to get to the left when the ball's forward. If you get it behind center, it's difficult to stay on top of it because you tend to come from more of the inside right. as ball position moves back. So I'm a ball position a little bit forward there. That was a good little feeling there, really moving the ball a little bit more forward in my stance. There it is. 
It's just a little bit more forward in my stance. All right, I'm gonna move up to a hybrid now. Let's hit this hybrid. This this club, I'm gonna feel like it's more up in my stance a little bit. Well, we, we have to always remind the viewers on your channel that the hybrids, almost every one of them is built closed. One yeah. to two degrees on the toe because it's to help the average player and the average player tends to slice the ball yeah. and hit it right. So they make their their hybrids one to two degrees closed faced. Yeah. Now, let's just talk about one other thing here. Now, get up over the ball, and a lot of the times viewers don't think this makes any difference, but it does. If he sets up here and his hands are slightly behind the club at address, then he's gonna to tend to cut that ball. And the more that he gets the hands slightly, slightly ahead, he's gonna come more from the inside out, and it's not gonna be as much cut on it. Now move it forward in your stance. A little more. Even now more. I had too much hook spin. Let's make sure that as you go back that you keep that, that club head even with your hands or outside. Oh my goodness. I think I have my ball position too far back. You tend to do that. That's why you hung your wedges a, a lot on those shots because they're so far back in your stance. It's You'd have to flip your hands to, to get it closed. That, that took all the hook spin off right there. There we go. It's important that you that, that the people understand that by moving it forward, you tend to get a higher ball flight and you tend to be get a straighter ball flight or a fade. Yeah. There we go. It, the difference is you moved it that time. Yeah. And it feels so far to me. Yeah. It but, feels like I feel like it's so far forward in my stance right now, and it's literally nothing. You not hit it much better than that. That took, I'm telling you, I've been struggling with this club off the ground because I hit it too low. And it's all to do with that ball position. It is. It's honestly what it is. Because now that I moved it forward, I'm launching it straight up in the air and there's no, there's none of that hook spin, that quick left side. And when you're playing par fives and hit, trying to hit them in two and you're playing long par fours and trying to hit with water on either side, you don't want that ball over trouble at any time. Right, you want to cut it. You want to cut it, if anything, and then you're more con control and it's going to land softer. On to the last club of the day here. We're going to move on to the driver here. Once again, though, shout out to my dad for coming on the channel. It's actually great having him on here. Hopefully you guys do enjoy these lessons and hearing from him because he knows what he's talking about. And let's just show the, the viewers where actually he is with the ball position. As you see that, that's that's where he is. Wow, I could have, I can even move it more. Right, yeah. Right inside my left heel. A little better. Pulled that just a little left. That feel. does feel way forward, but I know it's, it's right. It's not, it's still inside your left heel. Right. A little cut there. That's a, a shot that you have to have. Right. Especially when you're going around some of the trees and the dog legs that you're teeing off on. Right. Well, guys, it is a hot one out here today. Yes, it is. I mean, it's gotta be like, it's gotta feel like 105 degrees out here in Florida. The humidity and everything, but here we go. Couple more drives to end off this video, guys. Now, here's here's one thing that I always have learned is, uh, come on over here, Sadie, if you would. You put take and put your hands behind the ball on purpose and move the ball up a little more. Now you're gonna cut, cut the ball. You're gonna definitely hit the ball left to right. Oh yeah. That wow. Just a slight adjustment with where your your club is starting. When the club gets, you don't want to be way ahead with it unless you're trying to drive. Right. Hit that a little bit lower on the face. Now, having had this driver that you have, that this Mizuno driver that you have made for you, yeah. and they they weighted it so that you wouldn't hook as much. You you've maybe gotten back to drawing the ball a little too much sometimes. Right. This will take care of that. That feels a lot better, a lot hot, a lot higher, no hook spin, no curve on that. It's just kind of dead straight. And if you watch the pros on the range, they like never, they never draw it or hook it much. It's right. very straight. They're all kind of hitting it well, real they, straight. They always have this great enthusiasm to say, watch me fade this thing 
and it'll go out there and it'll move about five feet and yeah. say that that's my fate and, yeah and it's that's really almost straight I know I know you'll be like if you ever watch a really good golfer say he's gonna fade it it'll fade two yards not even kidding but yeah thanks for coming on the channel dad yeah. that about wraps it up for today's video guys absolutely I mean I even that I'm swinging the best in my life right now I would say and I'm still trying to get better and I still figured out some stuff right there because I all my clubs weren't perfect yesterday I was hitting the driver good I was hitting the irons good but there's still that hybrid that I wasn't loving right so hopefully you guys did enjoy that and we'll be sure to get my dad on the channel a lot more and always get that swing dialed in but until next time guys peace out